Hi, this is Lisa Michelle, and I like creating content for new and aspiring entrepreneurs or anyone who just wants to make money online. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a word scramble puzzle that you can sell on Amazon KDP or any other platform where you can sell digital products. So make sure you stay until the end because I want to show you how you can actually customize your scramble pages and turn them into an actual book that you can upload onto KDP. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create our word scramble and I'm in book bolts puzzle Wiz. So the first thing you do is select whether or not there's bleed. I always leave that as, as just a default for the size we're doing six by nine and we, I'll do double sided and I'll make it, let's see, uh, let's do five pages or six pages, right? You can select the font that you want here and doesn't matter too much but I just don't want it to be uh, cursive so that's why I'm changing it all right so we'll leave it as that and what you can do is create your own special customized word scramble with your own words that you pick out and the way you would do that is you would create an Excel uh, spreadsheet or you can use uh, Google Sheets and what you would do is, I'm trying to make this a little bit bigger. And what you would do is put in your words here, one per row. And for each puzzle, you would put a space in between, right? So these numbers here, one through 10, will be one puzzle, there's a space. And then these from 11 through 21, or 12 through 21 will be a different puzzle and so on. And just depending on what size you make it, that'll dictate how many words you'd actually need to have here. All right, so this is just a sample and we're gonna run with, with this one. All right, so we're going to include the solutions and match the puzzle and solution page numbers, but you know, that's totally up to you. And if you don't wanna put your own file together, you can just click, uh, select this box here and it'll just pick random words and sentences. So you don't have to necessarily create your own um you know your own excel spreadsheet if you don't want to all right so we'll upload that and it's working and i'm going to let it go ahead and create the puzzle and then i will come right back once it's done okay so our puzzle's ready so i'm going to click on download and here it is so all the words are scrambled and then we should have our Oh, I'm not sure if I select. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I think when I did it over, I didn't actually attach the um, solutions because it was taking too long with my Wi-Fi. So I had to do it over again and it did not include the uh, solutions to this puzzle, but that's fine. So we'll just download it. And I'll save it. Yeah, I'll replace that one. Okay. So now the next thing I want to do is go to this website called Vecteezy. And on Vecteezy, you can download different images and you know if you need vector files for any particular reason uh, if you create t-shirts or any type of merch where you would need photos or vector images where you can change the color um, yourself in something like affinity designer Vecteezy is a really good website and i'm actually going to just use it for some images because i want to put them in the background of the puzzle all right so I'm just gonna go down here and let's see if a photo um, I'm just gonna pretend as though I have a she was cut out but I have a puzzle book that will be themed um, with puppies okay so I just put in puppy and I selected cut out so that I would get pictures where it's just the dog. So I'll download a couple of these. And you'll see how I customize my, my book with these. Okay, so maybe I'll do one more. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is just go into Canva and just 
really quickly um, remove the um, background of these. Because I don't want them showing um, in the book that I'm going to do. And I always just leave this background. I put a color here so I know when the background is removed. Otherwise, if it's white, sometimes it's hard to tell whether the background is gone. All right, so we have one. And I'll go ahead and download this one. A transparent background. So I'll go ahead and do this with the other two and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have the last puppy here in Canva and I've taken the background, I've removed the background and I went ahead and downloaded each puppy so that I can upload them again. And what we're doing is uh, basically just trying to um, customize this scramble book so that it's catering to the dog lover or puppy lover niche okay because there's so many books on amazon kdp and other platforms that it's important to try to stand out from all the other books that might be similar to yours so catering to a niche or just trying to focus on one particular target audience will help you uh, sell more books and stand out all right so this is going to be a theme a uh, dog lover themed scramble book all right so what we're going to do now is go into canva and do a custom size six by nine design. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I forgot the most important part, which is to <laughs> upload our uh, upload our word scramble. I totally forgot about that. All right, so here it is open it up make this a little bit bigger so you can see okay all right so this is our word scramble in canva so now what i can do is pull in our oh sorry upload <laughs> pull in our puppies all right so we're just going to put them here in the background and I mean, you could, of course, you know, if you had a design that you wanted to add onto the page, you could just make it really small. You could put it in the corner. Um, you know, you can do whatever you, whatever you want once you see how to do it. But for this one, I'm going to just put these little fellas in the, in the background. All right, so now once it's there, I can push it to the back and then play with the transparency until it's what I want it to be. Now, if it's on Amazon KDP, I'm not going to produce a color book. So the puppy will not be in color, but that's okay. Uh, the next page, I'll do a different puppy. All right. And push into that. Now, of course, if you have a 200 page book, um, you may not want to do this for every page, right? But you can maybe just pick, like if I had a picture of a bunch of different puppies, I can just add it to, so that's on every page. You know, it wouldn't be a different puppy on each page, but it's okay if you're catering to a niche and you have the same picture or maybe three different pictures and you can kind of split it up and just rotate. And alternate between your pictures all right so you can get the idea all right we've got these we've got these three pages here all right so what I'll do now is uh, download this as PDF print okay all right so now what I'm doing is I'm going back into book bolt into their interior generator pro and this is what I use to actually build books if I have different pages that I want to kind of mix and match. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So you upload your pages, your unique pages, or your book that you created right in there. And then you go to interior. Now, once I'm here, you can see how it starts with the first page. There are a bunch of pages here. And then you've got the last page. You can select 
what size you want. We're doing a six by nine paperback. I always pick bleed in case any, I don't want anything to get cut off on the ends. And I'll just leave it with margins the, the way it is. So starting with the first page, I'll, well, I would normally do uh, a, like a page here that's got a line that says this journal or this book belongs to or an introduction page or something like that. But um, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'll go ahead and start the book on the first page. So I'll click here on the plus sign. And then here is, are all the pages that I just uploaded from the uh, scramble book. So I'd start with the first page here, which has the first puppy. I'll start with do the second page and I'll pick the second puppy pick the third page, pick the third puppy. All right. And I could just keep going. You know, if I had more than one uh, picture, I mean, more than three pictures, I could just keep alternating. And then to make sure at the end, we put all the solutions there so they match up with these pages. Now, the good thing about Book Bowl is that once you've added in, you know, certain pages, you can mix it up. So let's say for page six, I wanted to add in a journal page for whatever reason. I could put in two journal pages. Um, let's say I wanted to add in, I'll do another journal page. Let's say I wanted to add, um, let's see, a college rule page. I could do that. I mean, they have so many different templates here that if you were doing a planner or some other type of journal, you can see how there are a lot of different pages you can insert there. Um, you can have the wide rule page, there are the dot grid pages, so you can put in whatever you want. They don't necessarily fit in for a dog themed word scramble book, but just to give you an idea, if you were building a different type of journal or a different type of book, uh, these are just some of the pages that you can insert in there. And hopefully you can see it, but they're, you know, graph, there's graph paper, sketchbook paper, planner pages, dream journal pages, food journal pages, gratitude journal pages, password trackers, all types of pages in here. All right. So you would just pick the pages that you want, close it. And then once you're finished, you would download it. All right. And then you look at that here. Now. Um, I should open up another page just to show you something else. But this is our journal. This is our word scramble with the dogs in the back. Now, when I was saying before about mixing up the pages, let's say we had a 50 page or a hundred page book and 50 of the pages are different, uh, word scrambles, you know, with different pages in the background. And then I just wanted to add all the solutions at the end. You can go to, I love PDF and I love the site. I did a tutorial on this, um, on I love PDF. So if you want to watch that, I can link that here in case you need to actually do what I'm doing now. Uh, you can merge PDF files. So you can download, for example, the pages that we just customized, right? And then let's say I had, um, let's just say I had a set of solutions that I wanted to add at the end. You would just add those as a separate file and then merge it. Okay. This way, when you download it, you'll have the pages that you customized and then in the back, you'll have all the solutions. So you don't have to add each, um, solution page individually. All right. You can patch together, see, and these are the journal pages. You can patch together um, different types of books, different pages, so that they all come together as one cohesive book, all right? Now, if you want to learn how to create a word search puzzle book, I did a video on that, and I'll put a link right here for that. And make sure you subscribe because I'll be doing more videos on other types of puzzle books that you can sell on Amazon KDP. I'll be doing more book bolt tutorials. And if you have any questions or if you would like to see videos or tutorials on other types of um, books or puzzle books or journals or anything like that for Amazon KDP, uh, please just let me know in the um, comments below. Okay. And if you've subscribed, we've watched before, 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Okay, until next time, peace. Thank you.